do you have any pre-show rituals or anything that you do before for the show? Yeah. What, what do you what do you get up to? What's the... Well, I turn up. You just turn up. Yeah, that is without that pre-show ritual, I can't do it. Keeping the scores for you, it's Angelos Epithemo. <laughs> Angelos! What? Angelos, what's all the smoke? I don't know. <laughs> Is, are your shoes on fire? No. Do you have a favourite moment from the series at all? Or? Um. Yes. Uh, when I go home every day. Someone's on fire, Andrews. Check. What is it? Yeah, it's my shoes, yes. Right, right. Yeah. Why are you on fire? I think I must have stepped in something. <laughs> well, what have you stepped in? A bonfire. Yeah, it's cool. Do you go to the green room after the show? After, well, after it's recorded, you... Yeah, I go there, yeah. Do you drink down there? Or no, do... I don't drink there. I don't, I, I, I don't think I'm going to the same green room as everyone else. I'm going to this green room that is painted green and I'm sat there every night for about an hour and no one else comes. So I don't know where anyone else is, but they've told me to go to the green room and I go to this green room. It's got brooms in it and stuff. Do you understand the question? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, can I ask a question? Yes, of course. Who is he, this chap? What? Well. <laughs> That's Angelus. <laughs> what did you say? How's it going? <laughs> Sorry. What did you say? I don't think I understand you. Thank you. Do you have a rider? Do you request anything in your fridge, in your dressing room, or anything you specifically require? Well, I like the lights to be turned on. You know, I think that's important so I can see where I'm going. Um, and then um, that's it. That's all I want, really, the lights. And like, they have to be turned on because otherwise I won't go in there. Although I have gone in there plenty of time when the lights are off, but I've had to turn them on myself. So someone's going to get a kick in for that. It will roll. Oh, Rick, I don't think I've forgotten you. Oh. I've got a little something for you. <laughs> <laughs> my darling, my sweet, sweet prattle. Can you do me washing? <laughs> and I think it's disgusting the way you treated Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> Are you any closer to capturing Ulrika now the series is over? I think so, yes. Yeah? Yes, yes, I'm closer to it. I'm certainly sitting closer to her in the canteen, things like that. I'm, I'm, I've moved within 20 feet of her. So I think I'm getting closer in, in that, in like that. Um, and then, you know, if I get any closer than that, she's, you know, she's going to get, start getting funny ideas. So I have to be careful how close I get to her before I get um, arrested. Look at that. It's just like a couple of burnt burgers and a load of muck here. And it just says I love Ulrika and that's for you to eat. And I wondered if you could cook my dinner for me. <laughs> Thank you. You leave her alone. <laughs> Why aren't you telling David to leave her alone? Look at him. <laughs> Your showcases, what's the inspiration behind them? Well, it's Vegas, isn't it? All over the place. Vegas. Las Vegas and cruise ships, Paul Daniels and, and um, you know, all those idiots on the end of the pier. Is that, have you performed them before, elsewhere? No, I've just brought them out for this thing here. You know, proper, proper entertainment. Other, you know, rather than the muck that they do. <laughs> yes.
What's your, have you got any prior experience in scorekeeping? Is, it today, is this is Shooting Stars your first score? Yeah, well, it's all about the brain, isn't it? You know, and I'm in, um, I'm in the, the, you know, as it's goal, and I was in the top 10%, aren't I? The top 10% of what was it? Of, of the bottom 10%. Yeah. Yeah. What are the scores, Angelos? One, two, two, seven, eight, one hundred two. Angelos! What have Team A got? One. <laughs> no, they haven't, they had two. Two. <laughs> what have Team B got? Four, four, three. Thank you. Thank you, Angelos. Where did you get in maths? Did you study maths at school? I studied it, yeah, but then I realised that it wasn't for me. So I de-studied it and I made sure I forgot everything, what I had learned, just so that my brain was clear of all that muck. What are the scores, Angelos? 1,205,678. No, what are the scores, Angelos? Do you want with the what now? <laughs> Please, just give us the scores. The Funk Soul Brother. <laughs> It doesn't help me with the scores, does it? I want to sex you up. <laughs> I do get asked to do things now because of the show business. And the other day someone asked me to open a supermarket for him. You know, but that was because I was going on holiday. And they just flinged me the keys and said, can you open it up for the bakers? I said, yeah, all right. But I get up at four o'clock in the morning to do that. So I was a little bit put out. You know. I don't know who you think you are. <laughs> but we have been doing this for about half hour, 45 minutes, I don't know how long, right? <laughs> and you have had your eye on me ever since I <laughs> And I just want you to know that it is a no. Because <laughs> if I street. say yes to you, then I've got to say yes to her. <laughs> I've got to say yes to her. <laughs> and I haven't got the time, Kimberly. Thank you. If it was your show, if you were the host of the show, what changes would you make? Well, I'd change the whole thing completely. I'd make it mostly about me. I wouldn't have them in it, actually, them two. I'd have it all about me. And then you'd have some guests as well, but we wouldn't see them. They'd just be in the background and it would just be me talking. Just you? Yeah. You're happy to be doing the scores, it's lovely to have you. Well, it's all right to be here. <laughs> you enjoy the show, don't you, Angelus? No. <laughs> it's, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs>